Hello everybody. One of the challenges of Professor Reddy's Is God Colorblind is that those of us involved in Christian ministry need to engage with more black theology. And he pointed especially to the work of James Cohn, who was the Judith Moyers Distinguished Professor of Systematic Theology at Union Theological Seminary until his death in 2018. One of his most recent books is The Cross and the Lynching Tree, to which I now turn. Now this is a powerful and painful book, engaging with the terror and brutality of the awful history in the United States after emancipation from slavery. He makes crucial and compelling links between the cross of Jesus and the lynching tree of nearly 5,000 black men, women and children. Along the way, he notes that during this most awful time in the history of a nation, not only were so-called white Christians front and centre in the brutality committed, but too many key white theologians were conspicuously absent from the conversation. A mistake we simply cannot keep making. And in the book he writes powerfully that the gospel is found wherever poor people struggle for justice, fighting for their right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. James Cone goes on to note that the cross is the most empowering symbol of God's loving solidarity with the least of these, the unwanted in society who suffer daily from great injustice. He notes how black people found particular strength and hope in the story of God's own son brutally murdered without cause by an unjust empire. James Cone goes on to say that the cross is an opening to the transcendent for the poor who have nowhere else to turn. That transcendence of spirit that no one can take away, no matter what they do. But then he goes on to also say that not only does the cross give meaning to the awful suffering of lynching, but he says that the cross and the lynching tree interpret each other. In looking again at the lynching tree, it frees the symbol of the cross from the false pieties of well-meaning Christians. It reminds us that the cross is what humanity does to the despised and powerless in society. It reminds us that our only appropriate response to the horror of crucifixion or lynching is justice, is taking the crucified down from the cross. It is an incredibly rich book, one I would certainly add to my compulsory reading list for anyone engaged in Christian ministry. But in particular, James Cone writes that when we remember, we give voice to the victims. When we remember, we give voice to the victims. I hope for my sake that is true. And to that end, I want to finish this piece with a haunting piece of music, Billy Holiday's Strange Fruit. Gallant South, the 
bulging ass and the twisted mouth scent of magnolia sweet and fresh then the sudden smell of burning flesh here is a fruit for the crows to pluck for the rain together for the wind to suck for Sun to rot for the tree to drop. He is a strange and bitter.